Hello Aries and welcome to my channel and happy birthday to you as well. Alrighty, so I'm going to be doing a two week reading here for you. April 4th through the 17th. Alright Aries, let's go ahead and get some energy and let's see what the cards have for you. Okay, let's go. Transformation, Aries. Transformation. You are transforming, aren't you? It's your birthday. <laughs> New experiences are coming into you. Indeed. Yeah. Well, I guess I'm just going to take this as just the... Uh, the universe is just telling you happy birthday. It's transformation. You're, you're growing, right? You're growing. Um, you know, with growth, you know, you could be changing your style um, in some ways. Just make sure that you think things thorough, thoroughly through before you go ahead and take a new leap on this transformation, on this new idea um, that you may be wanting to do or that you are going to start to do okay just make sure you know that it is absolutely what you want to do and that you know exactly how you're going to do it all right think it out before you take the leap shadow self is coming in again there's a full moon on the sixth there's also an eclipse coming along and then everybody every reading i've done so far has gotten I've done um, Libra, Scorpio, and Sagittarius, and so now you Aries, you're all getting this shadow card. And I'm just reading it as it's just because of the eclipse that are com is coming in with the full moon as well. You know, here's the moon, here's the sun. It's going to be conjoining, you know, they're going to be conjoining together. And it's going to make the moon illuminate, illuminate more. So it's, it's wanting you to... You know, you do have this transformation card. You do have the transformation card here, so that it means changes. And with eclipses, it also means changes are coming in, coming in for you. Um, well, just make sure that you, you keep your focus, you stay focused um, with these next two weeks. Keep, keep your focus on what you really want to do. So you can push that shadow out, you know, and don't have any fears. Don't don't let fears of the old ways or with this transformation of where you're going to be turning, not turning into. I said that because caterpillars and butterflies. <laughs> but um, <laughs> just lost my thought. Um, but yeah, don't, don't. You know, don't don't let the fears, don't let your fears of how this how these changes that are coming about you or about your situation, don't let the fear of it hold you back from from going forward and moving and moving on with it. Okay. Because you're you're you know you're you going through a transformation. You're going through these changes, like I keep saying here. Um, don't let the fear of how the outcome is going to be uh, hold you back from from moving forward and going on with that. Harmony is now coming in for you as well, Aries. You know, this is, you know, this is an, another card here with harmony. It's telling you to, to focus to to focus on yourself. Focus on yourself. It's your birthday month. It's your birthday season, right? You know, it's your time to rejoice, rejuvenate, transform, and go and celebrate and be be in harmony with yourself. Do something for yourself. Everyone's like, oh, it's my birthday. What did you get me? What did you get me? What are they going to get me? Are we going here? Are we going there? It's your birthday, right? It's your birthday. Go celebrate and do something. Do something that will uh, accomplish something that, that you want, 
You know, you have transformation and changes coming in. And make it harmony. You know, make this harmony within your own self here. They're in green here. This is the green for the heart chakra, right? Heart chakra is all about compassion and and healing and uh, relationships, unconditional love. Bring that in. Bring that in for you. Bring it into you. This this lady here is transforming into this butterfly. Look at all the beautiful green on her. Unconditional love. Have compassion. Have compassion for yourself as well. It's your birthday. Bring harmony. You can bring harmony into any relationship. As well. This could also be harmony on a relationship, but I'm seeing it as just bringing harmony into yourself, for yourself. Because the shadow did show up. But, um, again, if this is a relationship, uh, could be meaning a relationship, there's a lot of changes going on. Don't have fears. Don't bring the fears of old past relationships into this new one. You want to keep this new relationship nice and light and bright. Uh, you know, there's there's harmony. Gonna, you know, harmony can transform from this. From you know, from this harmony from the relationship. If you keep stuff, you know, keep stuff light. Keep stuff light and light and easy for yourself. Victory and success, then, it, it was going to be coming in for you these next two weeks as well. Um, so there's a lot of, there could be a lot of, uh, a lot of money. Not a lot of money, but um, just a very lucky month for you, for, for money and um or perhaps even in your work environment, something very successful. Um, you know, he's blowing that horn, having that beautiful victory, you know. Yeah, I achieved those goals. I'm on top of this mountain cliff now. You're shouting out to the world, you know. You've made these changes. You've transformed. Uh, you've got harmony in your life. You know, and when it makes you prosper, it makes prosperous times for you. So you're gonna be You may be being very successful in work within this next couple weeks or this whole month for you, Aries. So let's go ahead and see what your next card is. Fulfillment of wishes. Fulfillment of wishes can be yours. Um, again. Don't have fear of these changes. Fulfillment and wishes can be achieved if you stay on the right track, if you stay on the track where you're going and you can block out the fears. Um, you let harmony come into your own heart. You know, um, you know, health and happiness is with the green as well. Get out in nature. Get out in nature. You have balance here. You have two beautiful waterfalls coming down for emotions. You know, keep your keep your emotions in check here. Keep yourself in the harmony of your emotions. If you need to work through your emotions, go ahead. Don't let them become the shadow. Don't let the emotions become the shadow. Block not block out the fear. Block out the fears and keep yourself and keep yourself in this light here. And just remember, there is an eclipse coming through and a full moon, and it plays havoc on everybody. So these are just some suggestions that the cards are telling you that could be upcoming for you. You do have your free will to change this. You do not just take what resonates with you um, and move from there. And that is your reading. I thank you. Bye now.